Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to run the fan game Pokemon Uranium on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. Today we're going to be using the crossover method, which is going to make use of Wine. And this actually runs okay on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, so today I'm going to show you how to go ahead and do this. If you're new to the channel, please consider pressing the subscribe button. It really helps this channel out and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming news. So the first thing we're going to do is to go to the Pokemon Uranium website. So I'm going to leave a link to the fandom page, which contains a download link for this game. So all we need to do is to scroll down and then click on the latest version of the game, which at the time of recording is 1.2.4. So this is going to open up a mega.nz link and we're going to press the download button here. So once that's completed, it will be copied to your download folder. And then if you go to Finder and then you click on your downloads folder, we're going to find the Pokemon Uranium installer there. So that's all ready to go. So once we've downloaded the Pokemon Uranium files, we're going to move on to the next step, which is to click the link at the top of the description for my affiliate link for Crossover. If you do make a purchase through this link, then you'll be helping to support the channel and the work that I do. So once you get to the crossover page, what you can do is to scroll down here and then you can click the try now button. And this is going to give you a 14 day free trial where you can test out the full functionality of crossover. If you do decide to purchase, then please click my affiliate link and click the buy now button. If you use the coupon code Apple Gaming Wiki and click apply here, then you'll get a 25% discount off your crossover purchase. In this tutorial, I'm going to be using the trial. So I'm going to click the try now button. Now all I need to do is to enter my name and email address and then I can click the download trial now button. So crossover will begin a download process. This file is 340 megabytes in size. So please wait a moment for that to complete. So once crossover has completed downloading, we're going to go to finder and I'm going to open our downloads folder and we're going to open up crossover. So I'm going to double click on here and this has extracted the crossover application into the downloads folder. And then what we're going to do is to drag this into our applications folder and then let go. And now when I look at my applications folder, I'm going to scroll down and then find the crossover application. And what we're going to do here is to double click on crossover. Crossover is going to give this option menu here. We're going to press open. And then what we're going to do is press the try now button. So if you've already purchased this, what you can do is click the unlock with purchase info. But today we're going to be using the trial. Here we're going to press try now. So now we have entered the crossover main menu. So what we're going to do here is to click install a Windows application. And then we're going to be selecting an installer. So I'm going to choose an installer file. And then we're going to select Pokemon Uranium 1.2.4. And I'm going to use the installer. And we're going to select a bottle. We're going to make a new Windows 7 64-bit bottle. We're going to call this one Pokemon. I'm going to call this one Pokemon Uranium. And here we're going to select a new Windows 7 bottle. We're going to use the 32-bit bottle, so the non-64-bit one. I'm going to press continue here. I'm going to select unlisted application and press continue. And here we're going to press install. So now we're going to go through the installation process of the Windows version of this game. We're going to press OK here. Here we're going to press next. And we're basically going to press next to everything and then install. So I'm going to install that now. So here we're going to uncheck show readme. We're going to press finish and that's going to automatically run Pokemon Uranium. So we have the language selection menu here. All we're going to do is just quit out of this. And then this is going to allow this wizard to complete. I'm going to press done here. And now we have Pokemon Uranium. I'm going to look at my bottles here. This is Pokemon here. And now I can launch the game again. So I'm going to double click on this. And that's going to launch this game. Here I can control the menu. So that's all working correctly now. Playing of 32-bit games on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac Fire Crossover is a little bit slow. However, this really applies to cutscenes mostly. So it's you can see this is a bit laggy at the beginning, but it seems to be working a bit better now. So when you first run the game, we're going to find this that the performance is quite slow. So I do recommend that we change some of the settings. So the most important one is to tweak the performance mode and then turn this on. That made a really big difference. And then also to change the FPS. So this is set to 40 FPS. You kind of want this at 40 anyway. This does have the option to full screen. However, you might have issues if you try to run this in full screen. So I recommend L, which will be the large size. This seems to run faster than full screen. If you'd like to find out more about games that are compatible for the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, then please make sure to check out the M1 Compatible Games Master List. I'll leave a link to this in the description. This contains a really long list of games which are compatible through the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, whether it's running natively through ARM, through Rosetta 2, or one of the compatibility layers such as Crossover or Parallels. So please check it out. I'll leave a link to this in the description.
Please also make sure to check out the Apple Gaming Wiki YouTube channel. This contains a playlist of game benchmarks that I performed on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, and there are literally hundreds of games which I've tested. So please check this out. I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. Anyway, this is how you get Pokemon Uranium working on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.